By default, when you scaffold the Dojo application with the Dojo CLI, it's going to go ahead and use the VDOM. And to render VDOMs, you're going to use this command called V from the VDOM module. And you're also going to use the W command to render widgets. If we look at the way this is used, we can see that here. We're using the V command to render a div V node. The second argument is going to be an object that's going to contain the classes and any attributes for our V node. And the third argument is going to go ahead and be an array that could be more widgets or V nodes. And here with W command, we're going to go ahead and render our menu widget. And this trigger widget doesn't have any properties, so we just give it a blank, or I'm sorry, an empty object. And then we're going to go ahead and render another V node, which is going to be another div. And this div is going to be an array that's going to go ahead and render our outlets. And these outlets are used for routing in our application. But the key here is that these outlets have a render method in the second argument. And these are going to have more widgets that we're going to go ahead and render for each route. So once again, use the V command to render V nodes and the W command to render widgets in your application. Now, if we wanted to add another V node here, we can go ahead and use the V command. Let's add a label above our menu. And I'm not going to have any uh, attributes that I want to apply to this V node. So I'll just go ahead and pass it the array. And this array is going to have my label. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, this is my label. And if we save that and then look at our application, we can see that it updated with our label at the very top. And this is how you can work with V nodes and widget nodes inside of your Dojo apps.